While food can take up precious inventory slots, they are just as important to have as the resources you collect while exploring. There are 12 different food recipes you can cook as well as 3 different utility stations to build. So how do you know which ones to make? Let me cover everything for you in the next few minutes. Check the description for timestamps for each section. There are 3 utility stations where you can cook food. The first is the grill, which takes 30 granite to build. This has a total of 4 recipes, grilled meat, corn on the cob, fried egg, and the spicy burger, which I will cover in a later section. The grill can easily be built in the beginning of the game, and the grilled meat and fried eggs are a great way to recover hunger and hearts in the early game. The juicer can also be made quite early on, where it only needs 8 planks, 8 marble slabs, and 5 knot root rods. This means you need to explore grassland caves and have an uncommon forest axe and uncommon pickaxe. Just make sure to keep an eye out for any brutes in those caves. There are three recipes unlocked by the juicer, Slap Juice, Slurp Juice, and Snowberry Shakes. I will cover these more in depth in a later section, but these recipes can be very useful when moving about the dry valley. The final utility is the oven, which takes 8 bright core, 15 copper bars, and 35 obsidian slabs, which all of these are found in the dry valley caves. You will need to have a rare pickaxe in order to collect these resources, which does require you to have a rare crafting table. The oven unlocks bread, meat pie, pumpkin pie, fruit pie, and pizza, which are all great recipes for health and hunger recovery and important for late game exploration in the Frostlands biome. Three out of four recipes for the grill are very simple, with the grilled meat being the simplest. Meat can be obtained from various animals such as wolves, hermit crabs, cows, and sheep, where each of them drop a single meat. It can also be found in chests throughout the world. Grilled meat only takes one meat, and you can put a stack of 30 meat to be grilled at one time. Each grilled meat recovers two hearts and eight hunger, as well as can provide up to two additional hearts if you are at full health when eaten. They take three seconds to consume. I recommend these for filling your hunger gauge and to eat when you are at full health to maximize the benefits provided. Fried eggs are next, and since the 28.10 update, it only takes one egg per recipe. Eggs can be obtained from chickens, as well as can be dropped from NPCs or found in chests. Just like with grilled meat, you can cook up to 30 eggs at one time, and each fried egg heals 4 hearts and 5 hunger, as well as 2 minutes of increased stamina recovery. Fried eggs take 2 seconds to eat. I recommend eating these for healing outside of battle or using if you need to traverse a lot of ground and find your stamina recovery lacking. Corn on the cob is made from corn, where one corn outputs one corn on the cob, so a full stack is 30. Corn can be found throughout the grasslands biome, usually growing around other foliage like bushes and pumpkins. You can also find corn from chests in the world as well as corn and corn on the cob can be dropped from enemy NPCs. Corn on the cob heals 3 hearts and 5 hunger, as well as provides 2 minutes of increased stamina regeneration, so it is slightly weaker than fried eggs. Corn on the cob takes 2 seconds to consume. This is a good substitution for fried eggs if you are not near chickens, since corn stalks can be more abundant. The final recipe for the grill might not be unlocked right away since it requires flour and spicy peppers in order to cook. Flour is made from putting wheat into the grain mill, and spicy peppers can be found in the dry valley biome. Spicy burgers also take meat, so make sure to keep a couple of raw steaks around if you want to cook any of these burgers. Spicy burgers heal 4 hearts and 10 hunger, with 2 additional effects. Like grilled meat, the spicy burger will provide additional hearts when you eat one at max health, where this time it is an additional 4 hearts. It also provides 10 minutes of increased cold resistance, so these burgers are fantastic for running around the Frostlands biome. Each spicy burger takes 5 seconds to eat. The juicer provides 3 recipes, two of which will probably be unlocked when you first build. All juices and shakes take 2 seconds to consume. The first recipe is slap juice, which requires 2 slap berries to make. Slap berries can spawn in all biomes, but they are most common around water, so the coastal biome is the best place to stock up. Slap juice recovers 3 hearts and 5 hunger, where the 3 hearts can be 3 bonus hearts if you consume the juice at full health. Slap juice also provides 2 minutes of increased stamina recovery, so these are great to take while exploring. The second recipe is slurp juice, which is made with 2 raspberries and 2 slurp mushrooms. Raspberries are very common throughout the grasslands biome, and slurp mushrooms can be found in most caves, but are very common in grassland caves. Slap juice recovers 5 hunger and provides health regeneration for 5 minutes, where you recover 1 fourth of a heart about every 7 seconds. These are fantastic to drink after a fight, since you can slowly recover hearts while traveling and save your food for the middle of fights instead. 
Snowberry shakes are the final recipe, which require two snowberries and one milk to create. Milk can be found from cows, which are abundant in the grasslands and frostlands, while snowberries can be harvested from bushes in the frostlands. You can also find these ingredients in chests throughout the world, but it is more dependable to harvest them from the previously mentioned sources. Snowberry shakes recover 5 hunger and 12 hearts, as well as provide 10 minutes of heat resistance. These are great for exploring dry valley caves, especially now since you can find brutes in caves, the health recovery can assist with any damage taken. The oven is the final utility and has the most recipes. The first recipe is bread, which takes 2 flour and 2 eggs to create. Bread provides 10 hunger and 10 hearts and takes 5 seconds to eat, so they are best eaten outside of combat to help any damage taken, or to fill up your hunger bar quite a bit. Meat pies take one flour, one meat, and one egg, and they heal 20 hunger, 20 hearts, and provide a bonus 4 hearts if you are at max health. Another great food for healing after a battle, and to make sure you don't have to worry about your hunger or health for a bit, but do keep in mind that it takes 6 seconds to eat. Pumpkin pie needs one flour and one pumpkin and takes 6 seconds to eat, where pumpkins can be found in abundance in the grasslands biome. These pies heal 20 hunger and 10 hearts, as well as provide a 2 minute increase for stamina regeneration. They are a great way to satisfy hunger and provide faster restoration to your stamina when you are in the late game. Fruit pie takes a lot of fruit, where the recipe requires one flour, one raspberry, three snowberries, and three slapberries. The fruit pie heals 8 hunger and 15 hearts and provides a 2 minute increase to stamina recovery, but with taking 6 seconds to eat, make sure you are not in danger while eating if you need to recover any hearts. The final recipe is the pizza, which takes 2 flour, 1 meat, 3 spicy peppers, and 1 cheese, where cheese can only be obtained from chests scattered throughout the world. While cheese does heal 6 hearts and 5 hunger, it is much better to keep your cheese to use in pizza, since pizza recovers 20 hunger, 25 hearts, and an additional 5 hearts if at maximum health. While it takes 7 seconds to eat pizza, and it is one of the hardest recipes to craft in the game since there is no dependable way to obtain cheese, it is the best food for recovering health and hunger. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and if you found any of this information helpful, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.